here we are in not so sunny Stourport on Severn. No, it feels like winter coats on again. I know, it's a bit chilly. Stourport on Severn is right by the River Severn. It's the end of the line for the uh, Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal. And this town wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the building of that canal. And uh, about the late 1770s, the canal opened, I think, something like that. And uh, a little Georgian town grew up around it. And it's seen better days, but it's a beautiful place, beautiful little town, especially around this wharf area. The buildings are amazing. It's, there's a fun fair behind us. Yeah. And initially when we moored up and I could hear the fun fair, I was a bit irritated by it. But when you read about the history of the town, it was like a seaside destination almost. It's not seaside. No. But you can't argue about it then because it's part of what the town was. And uh, still is. Yeah. So you, go on, sorry. As kids, this, this would have been a destination for a day out and bank holidays for uh, a lot of kids in Birmingham at the time. And I guess when it was built, the hotel that we're looking at, you can't see, is um, the Tontine. It was a very <coughs> grand hotel with lawns going down to the river um, and a big ballroom in there. So I think it was probably quite an expensive place to come and holiday. Yep. There's some beautiful apartments. Some of the old buildings have been turned into fantastic apartments. So. They have indeed. Well, it's been a long time since we did a video, three weeks or so, and it's... Uh, been a long way from where we did a video. We've got yeah. some miles in. Uh, to get down here to put the boat safely in the marina here, uh, whilst we were at Creek Boat Show at the weekend. Yeah. And man alive, that was hectic, wasn't it? So we've had nearly a week of it now, of being in the marina and being at the boat show, coming back, we've escaped the marina yeah. now. Um, and we're back canal side and it's fab. <laughs> So we're just spending a couple of days here, tie things up, settle down after Creek Boat Show, which was absolutely fantastic for a mad two days that we spent there. And uh, we're heading north now, back up towards Birmingham. So we'll start filming proper uh, as we go along. Yeah, but we know the places we want to stop at, don't we now? We do, so. yeah, some interesting places coming up. So anyway, uh, here's some video of our journey down to here. We had a hectic but enjoyable two days at Crick Boat Show. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to look at boats on display other than the two on the Alton Moss Boat Builder stand where we were there for a day meeting and greeting viewers. trouble is with Crick Boat Show is you can get a little bit of wonderlust when you see these brand new beautiful boats. The layout on this narrow boat Lagni Appy was absolutely stunning and the build quality was amazing. The highlight of the weekend for us was the Q&A session we gave in the Masterclass Theatre. So many people attended and we'd like to thank you all so much for turning up. It was a blast. If you'd like to see more footage of the Creek Boat Show, then visit our friends Pete and Caroline's YouTube channel, One Day More Aboard. There'll be more videos to come from them of the whole event. How long is that plastic barrier going to be left there. I bet that's been there for a few years. Anyway, still a lovely morning. Our journey this week sees us leave the Shropshire Union Canal at Orderly Junction where we joined the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal down to Stourton Junction. Then we cruised without filming to Stourport on Severn where we could leave the boat at a marina whilst we're at Creek Boat Show. We'll be filming this section in more detail on our return.
This wharf was opened in 1911 by Cadbury's Chocolate Company to transport milk and dried milk products, which are actually still made in the factory behind, Knighton products, Knighton foods. They make Angel Delight and Bird's Custard, etc. Another slice of uh, canal history. Wouldn't it be nice to think that Cadbury's chocolate, whose profits were helped by the transportation of the products along the canals and waterways of Britain, wouldn't it be nice if they contributed towards the upkeep now using their millions of pounds of profit? I wonder if they do. I wonder if Mondelay, their parent company, have ever heard of British Waterways. Anyway, this is uh, Shebden Embankment. It's a really high embankment. I think it's about 60 foot high. And when the canal was built 200 years ago, they had a devil of a job to stop this from uh, landsliding. And in fact, in 2009, the canal was closed for a period because of landslides. But uh, fortunately, touch wood, it's um, managed to stay intact. So today we're cruising six lock-free miles to the village of Nozel, where uh, we'll be staying for a couple of nights uh, before moving on towards Wolverhampton and a lovely village called Brood. But cruising along this embankment, you wouldn't know that you're about 50, 60 feet up in the air, would you? Amazing. Well, it's about quarter past eight in the morning. It's probably the earliest we've cruised in a couple of years. <laughs> but uh, we're both feeling a bit jaded after our 4.15 start this morning for our bird dawn chorus. But, uh, it's going to be a dry day by all accounts. Fran's giving the dogs a walk. And all is well with the world. I don't think they had the view they used to have 200 years ago. Staring at a canal embankment there. I think we need to replace the plants on the roof, hon. <laughs> We've been told a few times that a night in the Anchor Inn is a good night, especially when the locals all come with their instruments and have a jam session they don't open until seven in the evenings apparently but uh, uh we need to give that one a miss this time francis yeah we need to move on maybe we should have moved on further yesterday but never mind Girl's got to keep busy, friend. I couldn't do this if I had a spinning wheel, could I? No. So there you go. Happy.
Carrying the A519 road across the canal, the double arched bridge of number 39 still has its telegraph pole attached from the days when lines used to run alongside the canal. Well, this place holds massive memories for me. As a child, we used to come here. Well, my dad used to hire a boat for a week and uh, used to cruise all the way to Langoflin and back in a week, unbelievable. But yeah, pictures of me, 10 years old, steering the boat. And this is Norbury Junction, and no longer a junction. The canal there used to go to Newport um, but there are plans afoot to restore it as far as Shrewsbury, I think. But a lovely setting, beautiful place. And yeah, many memories. Bit of a tight squeeze for Fran here. Let's see if she can get through without bashing their boat, our boat the bank. Every year the Norbury Boat Festival attracts traders on their narrow boats from far and wide. And you can see here now a few boats have turned up and have started selling their wares. Ooh, ice cream and coffee. Starcrafts well-known traders along the system, embroidery gifts and uh, sweets and treats. just filled up with water here at Nozel and we decided we're enjoying the sunshine and the cruise so much that we decided to carry on so we're going to do an extra four miles and go to the village of Wheaton Aston. In fact I think it's five miles. Thank you. 
Good old Canal and River Trust. Why finish a job when you can leave it half done? Junction, the end of our trip on the Shropshire Union. I'm just coming into the stop lock, ready to turn which way. It's right, Fran. We're turning right on the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal towards Stourport. Remember? to Manchester railway line. That's a bit of a shame about the graffiti, isn't it? I don't mind graffiti in its place, but that's a you know, 200 year old plus bridge. Oh, um, that's Old Dusley Junction and 21 locks there will take you down to Wolverhampton. Or up, up. up to Wolverhampton. <laughs> Water's deep, friend. It is deep, it's really clear. We're speeding along and I'm not doing many revs. Ten, whatever that means. A thousand. <laughs> <laughs> but we're really going fast. And it's just so lovely to be on, well, it's not new ground because we have done this before. But Six not years for, ago. Yeah. So it's really nice not knowing what's around the next corner. So exciting. Work team restoring the vegetation to the offside bank. Doing a good job. I love these original 18th century bridge plates. We found a cracking little mooring at Compton, just outside Wolverhampton. And we can stay here for five days if we wish. Oh, she's at it already. Got stuff to do. We're moored at Compton Lock, right on the edge of Wolverhampton. But it's the most beautiful setting. Just about two minutes walk from the bridge there. There's all the shops, supermarkets, bars, restaurants that you could want. But this is just so peaceful. You would never know there's even a road nearby, let alone on the edge of Wolverhampton. But the sun's shining, Rich is editing, and it's gardening day for me. 
So we've bought a couple of bits and pieces of plants, but I'm having um, a good old plant up today. So in the front of the boat, we're gonna try growing some sweet peas this year. And I've put those up a little trellis either side. Um, they're doing really, really well. I've just transplanted some salad leaves into a trough there and we've got calendulas and cornflowers. I managed at last to get my tumbling tomato plants. And then the winter boxes have all got to be emptied out now. I shall save the herbs, put some flowers in around them. So we're gonna have a good old mixture of flowers and vegetables this year. And I'm hoping it's gonna look gorgeous. So we've come out to an old station at Tettenhall for morning coffee and cake and it's absolutely fabulous. Sausage. Doggy sausage. Mm. They deserve it. Slowly. <laughs> Trouble is, there's an uneven number of slices. <laughs> Jump on board here. Right. Right. Posh boating shoes. They're really comfortable. <laughs> Haven't got any sandals or shorts sorted out yet for this year. This is Bratch locks, three locks really close together. They're not a staircase flight. They are a normal flight, but very close together. And you have to obey the system. Before you can go through this lock, you have to fill up the lock in the middle. And uh, fortunately, there's a lock keeper on hand to give us a hand. Well, we're having a fabulous cruise today. And we're just at Bratch locks, which is a set of three very close together locks. We've got a locky on duty. Rich is having a whale of a time and keeps getting chatting to people. Everybody that he talks to tells him where all the best pubs are. So I think we've got a busy weekend coming up.
How beautiful is that? I wonder who tends to this then, not just the boat owners on the moorings. I guess they'll volunteer, so maybe the boat owners on the moorings. There's some really lovely CRT moorings just along there, and they've all kept the grass all neat. They've got little planted bits and woodland bits beside them. It's lovely. Lots of foxgloves at the back, one of my favourite plants. Not quite yet in flower. What a peaceful place to come and sit. As they say round here, it's Boston. Boston. <laughs> Perfect spot. Fran's really excited about the flower meadow over there. I don't know how many times we've said that this is the best mooring spot we've had, but this could be it. <laughs> it is amazing. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Gonna get the deck chair out of my book and sit in the shade, but not before I've explored the meadow. for a walk along this beautiful little country lane leads up to the road brought the doggies with me to see what's happened after last night's heavy rain the plants are all looking beautiful but then just before I reach the road somebody has taken it upon themselves to dump a big bag of rubbish and it's just such a shame that it's not winter now because I would have been up here with the trolley it's full of kindling that would have been fab for the boat. I might even come back with a bag and take some to store away. It's just been left abandoned. That's terrible. Here we are at Stourton Junction. Turn left here to Birmingham, but we're going straight on towards Stourport on Severn, where we're heading, as we've got moorings there for the time we're gonna be at Crick Boat Show. Thanks very much for watching, and please take a look at our website, floatingourboat.com, where among other things you can purchase Fran's scarves, my paintings, and also have a look at the recipe page. Some of the recipes Fran's done on our videos. Thanks a lot, bye.